Today I'm making chili con carne, but you can have it without the carne if you like, without meat. So you can have it if you like with um, corn instead of um, beef. So what I've done is I really liked the cauliflower rice that we had yesterday. So I've made some more cauliflower rice, but this time I've cheated and I put it in the microwave for five minutes and it's actually dried it out quite nicely, just like rice. So it tastes okay as well, I've just tried it. It's okay. So I quite like that yesterday. So that's the rice. And I've got some of this uh, left over from yesterday. This is coriander. So I thought I might as well use it up. And then I made the chilli in the slow cooker and obviously meat for meat eaters, for non-meat eaters, no meat. Now, if you have a look at this, this is beans, but it's not the red beans because the red beans are quite poisonous for me. So I've got normal cannellini beans, which I pressure cooked first and then added them to the chilli. So here we are, it's my version without lectins of chili con carne and I'm dropping it all over. <laughs> right, let's get the last bit out. There we are, lectin free chili con carne. Bon appetit, where's my wine? <laughs>